keeping up with our motto that learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning, students. Name of the subject, Mathematics, Standard 6th, Topic, Profit and Loss, Part 4. Name of the teacher, Mrs. Snehal Sarvaya. Chapter 13, Profit and Loss. In this video, we will learn how to frame a word problem and practice set 34. Children, in this exercise, we are going to see how to frame a word problem. So let's start with practice set 34. Question 1. Using the figures given below, frame problems based on profit percent or loss percent and solve the problems. First, cost price is Rs. 1600 and selling price is Rs. 2800. So, the problem is, Mitesh bought shirt at Rs. 1600 and sold it for Rs. 2800. What is his profit percent? Let's see the solution. Profit is equal to SP minus CP. So, selling price is 2800 minus cost price is 1600. So, profit is Rs. 1200. Let the profit percent be X. Then X upon 100 is equal to 1200 upon 1600. Because 1200 is the profit and 1600 is the cost price. Now, multiplying both the sides by 100. So, X upon 100 into 100 is equal to 1200 upon 1600 into 100. Therefore, x is equal to 75. So, Mitesh's profit percent is 75. Now, second, cost price is rupees 2000 and selling price is rupees 1900. Now, children, here you can use any name, any article, whatever you want. Only the cost price and selling price should be same. So, I have framed a problem here. Sarita bought a chair for Rs. 2000 and sold it for Rs. 1900. What is her loss percent? So the solution is loss is equal to CP minus SP that is 2000 minus 1900. So the answer is Rs. 100. Let the loss be X percent. Then X upon 100 is equal to 100 upon 2000. Now multiplying both the sides by 100. So we will get X is equals to 5. So, Sarita's loss percent is 5. Question 3. Cost price of 8 articles is Rs. 1200 each and selling price is Rs. 1400 each. So, I have framed a problem over here. Manisha bought 8 articles at Rs. 1200 each and sold them at Rs. 1400 each. Find her profit percent. Solution. Profit per article is equal to SP minus CP that is 1400 minus 1200 that is rupees 200 profit per article. Let the profit be X percent. Then X upon 100 is equal to 200 upon 1200. Multiplying both the sides by 100, we will get the answer as X is equal to 16 2 upon 3. So Manisha's profit is 16 2 upon 3 percent. Question 4. Cost price of 50 kg grain is rupees 2000 and selling price is rupees 43 per kg. So now here I have framed a problem. Suhas bought 50 kg of grain for rupees 2000 and sold it for rupees 43 per kg. What is his overall profit or loss percent? Cost price of 50 kg grain is rupees 2000. Selling price of 1 kg of grain is rupees 43. Therefore, selling price of 50 kg grain is 43 into 50 that is 2150. Here selling price is more than the cost price so it is a profit. Profit is equal to SP minus CP. So 2150 minus 2000 so profit is rupees 150. Let the profit be Y percent. Then Y upon 100 is equal to 150 upon 2000. Multiplying both the sides by 100. Therefore, y upon 100 into 100 is equal to 150 upon 2000 into 100. So, y is equals to 7, 1 upon 2. Therefore, Suhas made a profit of rupees 7, 1 upon 2 percent. Question 5. Cost price is rupees 8600 
ट्रांसपोर्ट चार्जेस रुपीज टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी पोर्ट्रेज रुपीज वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी एंड सेलिंग प्राइज इज रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड सो द प्रॉब्लम इज शीला बॉट अ सेविंग मशीन फॉर रुपीज एट थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड शी पेड रुपीज टू फिफ्टी फॉर ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड रुपीज वन फिफ्टी फॉर पोर्ट्रेज शी सोल्ड द सेविंग मशीन फॉर रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड फाइंड हर प्रॉफिट और लॉस परसेंट सोल्यूशन टोटल कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ सेविंग मशीन इज इक्वल टू एट थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड प्लस टू फिफ्टी प्लस वन फिफ्टी दैट इज इन कॉस्ट प्राइज वी है ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड पोर्ट्रेज सो द आंसर इज रुपीज नाइन थाउजेंड दैट इज द टोटल कॉस्ट प्राइज and she sold the saving machine for rupees 10000 so here selling price is more than the cost price therefore there is a profit so profit is equal to sp minus cp 10000 minus 9000 that is rupees 1000 let the profit be y percent then y upon 100 is equal to 1000 upon 9000 multiplying both the sides by 100 therefore y upon 100 into 100 is equal to 1000 upon 9000 into 100 So y is equals to eleven one upon nine. Therefore, Sheila got eleven one upon nine percent profit. Question six: Seats worth rupees twenty thousand five hundred. Labor rupees nine thousand seven hundred. Chemicals and fertilizers rupees five thousand six hundred. Selling price rupees twenty eight thousand six hundred and forty. So the problem is Shamrao bought seats of wheat. Worth rupees twenty thousand five hundred, and sold in in his field. He spent rupees nine thousand seven hundred on labour and rupees five thousand six hundred on pesticides and fertilizers. He sold the wheat produced for rupees twenty thousand six hundred and forty. What was his profit or loss percent? Let's see the solution. Total cost price is equal to rupees twenty thousand five hundred plus nine thousand seven hundred plus five thousand six hundred. That is. we have added the cost of the seeds as well as the labor and the cost of pesticides and fertilizers so the total cost price is rupees 35800 and he sold the wheat produced for rupees 28640 so here cost price is more than the selling price so it's a loss loss is equal to cp minus sp that is 35800 minus 28640 So the answer is rupees seven thousand one hundred and sixty. Let the loss be x percent. Then x upon hundred is equal to seven thousand one hundred and sixty upon thirty five thousand eight hundred, multiplying both the sides by hundred. So x is equals to twenty. Therefore, Shamra incurred a loss of twenty percent. Thank you.